Todo bien. I just been real busy, ma. Sabes? This whole fucking barrio of oh, no, if I need to. Claro que yeah. Quiero mucho. Oh. Holy crap! Oh, jeez, man! Oh. Oh, I gotta get my eyes checked. Oh, shit! I have no runny shit, man! Dollars hard at work. Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. Well, I guess we're going to Port City then. Come on then, Floyd. What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I've always worked for sticking the mud. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether Security Consulting. Private... Private army to the New World Order. My butt gone The most up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil. That, um, sounds like them. Oh, you only have yourself to blame. Oh, there's a private militia in the port. What are they got? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no, they won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Meriwether guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. 
I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well. Go park and get the dispatch. Uh, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Come on, it's just about to start. Now there's poor folk all over this area. You drive too reckless, someone's going to report us. Here comes the suit. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth, it matters what came out. Hey, John, we got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. He started getting weird about all the money. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Right. Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. Uh, they won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. Bullshit. Government's done enough to strip us of our collective bargaining rights. Useless. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. The that is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Merryweather guys. Merryweather guys at two o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! You fucking pussy! You drive and I'll spot. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous, relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together, stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happened when he's neck deep in shit. I'm gonna lose my job. Those are the containers in Bay B. Look it up! That's it. Now we gotta bring it over to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. You happy? Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. No, no, no. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot!
Be careful! And attach it! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. Deborah's old friends with the... Well, with the... With the... With the say no more! You didn't fillet no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Get up on this walkway, climb down the ladder, and go into the cabin. I'm here. What do I do? That's it. You're in position. That's lined up. Move the spreader down so it can grab the container. Looks good to me. Grab onto it. It's hooked up, so lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. Take us to the other end, bay number five. All the way to the end! Set it down gentle. You want to line it up with the frame of the truck. The truck is clear to go. Signal man and crane driver working together. Now let's do the same thing again. Get back down to the other end. over the second container in Bay 1.
It's got to attach to the truck. All right, you're done. Break time. How about this view, huh? I'm gonna take some photos for the kids. Trevor, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! We can use the big rig. It's on the other side of Port City. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. <laughs> from 
Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. The spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Merriweather. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good...
in the name of all things holy. <laughs> all right, so based on my observations, I'd say these Meriwether security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container. They're landing. Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here. I... It's got to be... You and Floyd... Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. is a fine automobile. Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty. Hmm? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. Mm -hmm.
in the van. This is a joke with no punchline. You think I haven't killed a clown before? Never wears off. I expected so much more from my psychosis. Just stick to math.
for one now! Yeah! Who's laughing now? Mm. I spoke too soon. Head spin. Not good. And I suppose that's why they want to keep us suppressed. <laughs> Gosh, it's been really interesting talking to you. What the fuck? Who the fuck is this? The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's place, Rockford Hills. I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, stop! Oh, well, for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Hey! And after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth... Watch it! And he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway. Any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were... Look out! Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush... Get us some transport! Go Something away. ain't right. Yeah. Fucking Christ! Ah. Come on! Ah. Sir! along for the ride. Jesus.
One of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That they Watch it! That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. <laughs> This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument. Now, if you open real wide, I might be able to just reach right... Out she comes! Wait! Uh -uh. My teeth! Come on! No! to make a man talk, <coughs> Mr. Phillips. Flash, you're driving. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. Now, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest, and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You can do no more car accidents. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under. Look out! Well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainee's right, but it's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed. Don't! But it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shore. I played the part of Brad and restarted a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. How many volts? You think. <laughs> Bad. 
Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Now? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Ah! Oh, Sorry, too no. late. Tra it ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Nutcracker! <laughs> No, oh, he looks so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. I'm taking a shot of this after him. The light. Let me go through it. <laughs> so what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake. I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our targets. Oh, he, he, he got me. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be. Hit him again! We got nothing to lose. You know everything. I don't have anything else. What if you get it wrong? Say this! Oh, no! I was wrong! I got blood in my mouth! Stop it! It's done the trick! Yep, he comes! Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Michael, what the fuck is wrong with you? What? I had my eyes on a target. Listen, anyone in that joint's got as much chance of being a threat to national security as the next guy. Steve, it's blown. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo, that is a wrap, my friend. Hey, 
How's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torture. But only if they're prepared to pay. Departures. No one drives me to the airport.